in the studio and it feels so good. It has been weeks since I've actually had a week full on where I could just be in the studio. It's been so busy and I don't know, I've just been really discombobulated and <laughs> exhausted. I got sick at one point. I mean, it was just a crazy month and July, I feel like, is just like that sometimes. Um, but it made me have a lot of realizations about how I want my business to look and I'm making some really big changes. So I'm really excited to kind of share how those will unfold. Um, but this week is really just about catching up on things. I actually signed up for this like brand voice copywriting um, five day little email boot camp. Um, and I'm in a group chat for it and all of the gals in there are super cool and I'm just feeling really motivated and energized and I don't know, I just have that feeling of like, okay, let's buckle down and get some stuff done for the business because last month was so weird. I'll tell you more about it in another video. Um, I might have already posted it. Um, this week we're just buckling back in and then next week I'm actually leaving for a two-week trip but I have some really fun plans for that and of course I'm going to take you along. So yeah, I'm just so happy to be back and to be talking to you. I've been out of practice I feel like so <sighs> we're here. <laughs> Okay, so I just got done with a recording session. This is so random, um, but last year actually, my husband and I got invited to spend a week in Minnesota um, where we got filmed by the tourism board, um, Explore Minnesota, to basically um, share as their Visit Minnesota campaign. Um, and since then, I've had a few different opportunities to do spots like that, and they've hired me to do the voiceover for their radio ads um, and are paying me for it. So I don't know, it's just like another reminder of like your presence as a business and a brand and sharing who you are. Like, I don't have, you know, my following on Instagram has not grown in the last couple of years and that's how they found me and it's just another reminder that you don't have to be growing to be seen. You don't need to be, you know, I don't post every day. I post sometimes max three times a week and, you know, just trying to share who I am um, and people will still find you. So I don't know. It's kind of cool that they reached out again to do their fall campaign. It was such a cool experience. Um, we basically spent the week there, followed around by a film crew and just doing all these different activities and, you know, them using it to make like this whole video about our trip. Totally pause, break Good morning, guys. Oh, the sun is bright. Oh, how's it going? I am so tired today. I don't know why I've been staying up late reading. I just finally started reading uh, A Court of Thorn and Roses. Um, <clears throat> I finished it last time, so it was good. I have the second one on hold in my Libby app, um, but I do love fantasy, so it was a fun read. I'm actually feeling super motivated this week. I put on my priorities and my focus for the week that I would just work on content. Um, and so I drafted up an email last night already. I'm planning on drafting a second email today. Um, I filmed and edited and uploaded one video and then I'm filming another one today and editing another one. So I'm about to be gone for two weeks. So I wanted to get ahead of content creation. Um, and right now, a lot of my focus is on making sure people know about the Iceland trip. I need four more signups at this point to make the trip go forward. So I'm really excited. I just want the right people to find it um, and to hopefully join on the trip. It's going to be such an amazing experience, um, but it's already only six months away. Like it's going to be here before we know it. So I feel like I just lost so much of my mojo in July. I was just so exhausted. And, you know, and I'm back, so it feels good. If only I could finish something, run straight through to the end. 
second major shift really came from that sense of exhaustion and recognizing that it really wasn't a normal type of exhaustion. It was a lesson in listening to my body. Will it ever be enough? When I'm bent on trying to keep it tough, will I ever settle down? I've been editing all morning and it's so funny like doing this style of video where I'm doing a voiceover is so different than usual so it's been an interesting editing challenge. I'm going to be gone for two weeks so I also feel like I'm needing to prepare for that um, and this is the first week that I haven't had a chef gig in over a month so um, it's nice to just sit at my desk honestly like I found that my office in my studio space is like my happy place. Um, and I just have a really good routine with it and I feel really calm and my nervous system is all good. And I haven't caught up on a lot of my favorite vloggers in a while. So I made myself some lunch and I'm just gonna do that and then get back to editing and maybe some filming. <sighs> it feels good. So I had like 15 minutes left on the vlog before I, oh no, <laughs> I just dropped my stitch marker. There were 15 minutes left on the vlog so I was like, oh, maybe I'll just work on this new pattern I've been writing um, since I finished my lunch already. But I'm working on like a lighter weight version of my Winterfell beanie. Just so lovely catching up on some vlogs. It feels like catching up with a friend honestly, I know it's one way. Um, but a lot of the vloggers that I follow are just kind of like this, they all chat. So I hope you feel that way about my vlog. But yeah, giving myself a little bit more time to work on this beanie. And then I have to make an Instagram post and then get back to some editing. Of trying to keep myself real it's already almost 3.30, uh, but I just finished posting that reel, and then I actually spent some time rewriting my Instagram bio. I've been thinking so much about it, um, and actually this is kind of exciting. I am starting to work with a business coach, and I found her. She has a podcast called Just a Wild Thought, um, Creatives in the Wild, and it just felt so aligned with who I am and what my business is and where I'm going, um, but you know, as I've been sharing a lot about in the last few months, the last year, um, I've been going through a lot of shifts in the business. There are a lot of big visions and dreams that I want to come to fruition and I kind of have all these different ideas of how I want to get there and what I'm doing to make that happen. And I do have a lot of small business friends, but I haven't had someone who's like trained to be a mentor in business. And I feel like that kind of further education almost or support is so important. It's almost like going to therapy, but like a business therapist in some way. So I had my first session with her today and it was really awesome. So impactful. If you've been thinking about hiring someone like that, I highly recommend. I mean, we connected right away. And there's a couple of mindset shifts that she was helping me make about what my business is and who Smeeny is that were actually super helpful. And one of them was just like reframing this whole I'm building my business so that I can have the freedom to travel and adventure. It is reframing it to I prioritize travel, adventure, and my freedom and so I'm building a business that aligns with and supports that. And it is so true. Like, that is true, right? But even that slight change in wording and that little flip has been such an eye-opener for me. So I thought I'd share that with you. I'm very excited about it. But I need to get back to editing. I need to film another video, actually. I'm just on a content crush right now. And it feels really good. Um... And then we need to get outside because I've been inside all day and it's really nice out. You don't have to be so tough. Maybe you could settle down. Happy with the way it is now. 
I just finished editing and uploading my second video of the week, which feels really good. Um, making some headway on this new beanie style. Tell me what you think. But I did not make it outside today. Uh, I don't have Arya. Rob took her to work today, so... I'm kind of being a little gremlin, but I'm capitalizing on my motivation and energy for content creation right now, so I'm just doing it. But it feels good, like I'm not upset about it, and I don't know, just feeling like there are changes happening and there's like a new energy and it's very exciting. like starting the day with getting your butt kicked and body pumped. those like especially if you've been in business for a while or if you like feel like you know who you are you I've been going through this like crazy identity crisis almost like in the last year um but it's kind of like you kind of forget that you can just go back to this stuff and rebuild it it's almost like you fall into this comfort zone of how you do things or like how you view your business or how you operate within your business it's so hard to break out of that habit and to find a new voice we don't think about that very often or go back to figuring out what that actually is now because everyone's growing and changing constantly okay, this week is just so good i just got off of a co-working call um with the brand voice boot camp challenge um the gal's name is hannah and her brand is called boundless copy and she's a copywriter slash brand voice expert um but especially with me being in that mid pivot and transitional phase i was like this is a great way to redefine who that is or who i am and how to express that i guess um and you know if you've watched my last couple of videos talking about this mid pivot it's almost like I have this feeling of wanting to break everything back down to basics and rebuild it in a way that feels aligned. Um, and I feel like I've kind of been doing baby steps towards it, but like really getting into the nitty gritty of that because there's so much nuance to um, branding and it's something that I'm really passionate about. Like I actually have a branding workbook that I've published a couple of years ago, um, create like made for makers. Um, and I actually took it off of my website because I was like, I really want to come back to this and like refresh it with where my brand is now. And it's not about me, but like even just what I've learned about branding. So anyway, I just mentioning that because being on these calls, having community with other creative women, and like we were talking about this in the group chat, where when you're self-employed, it's kind of like as much as your friends who aren't self-employed or your partners or whatever, they support you and get it and are cheering you on. There's nothing like actually connecting with people who get it on like a deeper level. So that chat was really awesome. Um, it's been fun meeting all these new people. Um, and then I have my Discord community for the Adventurous Creative Club coffee chat in a couple of hours. So I'm going to try to bang out some work between now and then. But it's been a computer heavy week, I guess. But oh, it feels good to just feel motivated again. So if you've been feeling down, just... I don't know, give yourself a break and then come back to it or connect with some people um, because it really makes a difference.
but I totally get it. Like no one's even- Today has been the day of chats. I just got off of our coffee chat in the Discord community and oh my gosh, I just feel so energized by all of this. It's just so fun to meet you and to just have these conversations. Well, I'm, I'm just adjusted the camera um and shout out to taylor thank you for being part of the chat and your good luck on your new business journey um that's what this community is for and thank you so much for watching these videos um but yeah it was so good to be in there i'm hoping to start doing them once a month especially after i get back from my trip um but yeah and if you're already in the community feel free to use it like type in questions or ask you know share start combos like whatever things like that this is your community too like it's not just like if i ask a question or i start something like feel free to utilize the space um that's what it's for so and i totally get it like summer's a busy time and i'm hoping everyone's offline and outside as much as they can be too but obviously like a lot of us still have to work um so i encourage you to utilize the chats in the community and um yeah, it's your space too. So. Me and my friend Maris. Maris, are you excited for our adventure? <laughs> here at Yamba Valley Fiber Works. I was here last year with my cousins, but it's this local yarn, wool mill and yarn store. And I'm leaving for my trip next week and I've been wanting to make a sweater from this book. Um, so I'm here to get some yarn for my sweater. Excited. Ray is so awesome. I actually visited her last summer. I have a whole video about visiting the yarn mill and there's a tour of the yarn mill and everything um, in another video. I'll link it up here. Um, but I have been wanting to make one of these sweaters by Linka Nauman in so long, for so long. I've wanted to make this sweater and I'm finally gonna do it and I'm gonna make it on my trip. So I'm gonna bring you along on the trip while I'm making this sweater. But I just wanted to make like a Nordic looking sweater for the Iceland trip. And I think it would just be a really fun way to like, I don't know, celebrate going on the trip. I hardly ever do a big project like this for myself. So it's gonna be awesome. And then because we have this local yarn mill, she actually has the ranch and then makes the yarn and dyes it herself. And I bought a bunch of yarn for that. She is actually dyeing some specifically for me because she was out of those colors um, in that weight. So she's bringing them to me tomorrow. So I'm just so honored that she's even doing that. But thank you, Lorraine. But yeah, this week has been so amazing. I feel like myself again. I feel like the last few weeks have just been so hard. 
Um, but I'm totally re-energized this week. And, you know, joining in on that uh, brand voice challenge was really amazing. Having all of these different co-working chats is just reminding me again and again how important it is to make real connections and actually chat about these things with other people who get it. And I think I think I said this earlier, but it's why I'm so excited to start this Discord community, why I'm so excited for this Iceland trip, why I'm hoping that we get enough people to come on this trip and I can just continue to do this. And it's something that we just do every year or twice a year in different locations. So I don't know. I'm just feeling really good. Um, I feel like I'm back. Like I feel like I have that mojo back. And yeah, but I leave on Monday for a two-week trip. Um, I'm going to bring you along, but thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being with me on this journey. Um, the pivots are hard, but I'm going to share all of the ups and downs of it with you together. And yeah, if you're feeling alone or like you've been stuck too, you are not. I am here with you. Always would love to talk to you in the comments or, you know, join the community or whatever. But yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye.